Tor Instoy, a cybersecurity expert from Norway, was curious about Chinese electric cars. He had always been fascinated by the intersection of technology and transportation, and the rise of electric vehicles from China piqued his interest even more. He wondered what kind of data they collected and where they sent it. Were these cars just vehicles, or were they sophisticated data-gathering machines? The questions kept him up at night, fueling his curiosity. So, he did what any self-respecting tech enthusiast would do. He bought one. He wanted to get first-hand experience and see for himself what these cars were capable of. Instoy purchased a brand-new electric SUV from NIO, a popular Chinese car company. The sleek design and advanced features of the car were impressive, but he was more interested in what lay beneath the surface. Little did he know this purchase would lead him down a rabbit hole of digital secrets. The more he delved into the car's systems, the more questions arose. This wasn't just any car purchase, it was the start of an investigation. Instoy was determined to uncover the truth about the data these cars collected and how it was used. Instoy wanted to get under the hood, not of the engine, but of the software running the car's systems. He knew that modern cars were more than just mechanical marvels. They were complex computer networks on wheels. He knew modern cars were basically computers on wheels, collecting tons of data about our driving habits and locations. Every trip, every stop, every acceleration was logged and stored. But was there more to it, especially with a car from a Chinese company? Were there hidden layers of data collection that went beyond what was publicly disclosed? That's what he aimed to find out. Instoy was on a mission to uncover the hidden truths and potential risks associated with these advanced vehicles. His journey was just beginning, and the road ahead was filled with mysteries waiting to be solved. Instoy and his team of tech wizards called their investigation Project Lion Cage. Their goal was simple to analyze every bit of data the car collected and transmitted. They set up a special lab, transforming the NIO SUV from a mode of transportation into a subject of intense scrutiny. It was time to see what this electric lion was really up to. They nicknamed the car Leo because, well, lions live in cages, get it? Okay, maybe it wasn't the most creative nickname, but it did the trick. Project Lion Cage was officially underway and the team was ready to unravel the mysteries hidden within Leo's digital DNA. Analyzing data from a car is no easy feat. It's not like opening a file on your computer. Cars have complex systems, and the data is often encrypted or hidden within layers of code. Instoy and his team had their work cut out for them. They spent weeks, if not months, poring over data logs, reverse engineering software, and running countless tests. It was a meticulous and painstaking process, but they were determined to crack the code and expose the truth about Leo's data practices. They were like digital detectives, hot on the trail of a data thief, except the thief might just be the car itself. What they found was shocking, to say the least. The sheer magnitude of the data being collected was beyond anyone's expectations. The NIO SUV was collecting an enormous amount of data, far more than they had anticipated. This wasn't just a case of a few extra data points here and there. It wasn't just basic driving data like speed and location. It went much deeper than that. It was also collecting information about the car's surroundings, nearby Wi-Fi networks, and even the strength of those signals. Even more concerning was the fact that it was gathering data from the driver's personal phone contacts, syncing seamlessly without the driver's explicit knowledge. And where was all this data going? This was the question that haunted the researchers. Instoy and his team discovered that much of it was being sent back to servers in China. The data transfer was continuous and extensive. This in itself wasn't necessarily a cause for alarm. After all, many tech companies collect data and store it on servers around the world. It's a common practice in the tech industry. However, the sheer volume of data and the types of information being collected raised serious concerns about privacy and security. The implications were far-reaching. The cybersecurity experts were particularly worried. The potential for misuse of such detailed personal information was enormous and the lack of transparency only added to the unease. Section 5. Unencrypted and Unsettling, A Cause for Concern To make matters worse, some of the data being transmitted wasn't even encrypted. This meant that anyone with the right tools could potentially intercept and access this sensitive information. It was like sending a postcard with your deepest secrets written on it instead of a sealed envelope. Furthermore, 
the team found evidence of continuous query requests coming from IP addresses in China. It seemed like someone, or something, was constantly checking in on Leo, requesting real-time updates on the car's location and activities. This was getting creepy, even for a bunch of cybersecurity experts who had seen their fair share of shady online behavior. Section 6, Big Brother is Watching, The Rearview Mirror Mystery. And then there was the camera in the rearview mirror. Now, rearview cameras are pretty standard in cars these days, but this one was different. It wasn't just a simple backup camera. Instoy's team discovered that this camera was also collecting data, even when the car was parked and turned off. This was highly unusual. Why would a car need to record video when it wasn't even being driven? What purpose could it serve? It was a question that sent chills down their spines. The implications were unsettling. Was this a harmless oversight, a glitch in the system, or was something more sinister at play? Could it be intentional? Was the Chinese government using these cars as mobile surveillance devices? The thought was alarming. It's important to note that there was no concrete evidence to support these claims, no smoking gun. But the possibility, however remote, was enough to raise serious concerns. The team couldn't ignore it. They began to dig deeper, looking into the origins of these cameras. Who manufactured them? Who installed them? And most importantly, who had access to the data? The deeper they looked, the more questions arose. It was a mystery wrapped in an enigma. The team knew they were onto something big, something that could have far-reaching implications. The idea that everyday objects could be used for surveillance was not new, but this was different. This was personal, invasive, and potentially very dangerous. The stakes were high. They had to get to the bottom of it, no matter what it took. The truth had to be uncovered. Big Brother was indeed watching, but who was behind the curtain? The investigation continued. Section 7, China's Electric Avenue, a global powerhouse. To understand the full scope of this story, we need to zoom out a bit. China is the world's largest car market, and it's making a big push towards electric vehicles. Chinese companies like NIO, BYD, and Xpeng are becoming major players in the global electric car industry, challenging established brands like Tesla. This rapid expansion has been met with a mix of excitement and apprehension. On the one hand, Chinese electric vehicles are often more affordable and innovative than their Western counterparts. On the other hand, some foreign governments are concerned about the potential security risks posed by these vehicles. Governments in the United States, Europe, and elsewhere are now taking a closer look at Chinese electric vehicles. They're worried that the data collected by these cars could be used for espionage or even to disrupt critical infrastructure. Some countries are considering banning Chinese electric vehicles altogether, while others are implementing stricter regulations on data collection and storage. This has sparked a new kind of trade war, one fought not with tariffs and sanctions, but with data privacy and cybersecurity. It's a complex issue with no easy answers, and it highlights the growing importance of data security in our increasingly interconnected world. As for Project Lion Cage, the investigation is far from over. Instoy and his team are continuing to analyze data and dig deeper into the inner workings of the NIO SUV. They're also looking into other Chinese electric vehicle brands to see if they exhibit similar data collection practices. With each passing day, they uncover more questions than answers. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion, only to find another onion underneath. But they're determined to get to the bottom of this mystery, no matter how many layers they have to peel back. So, what does this all mean for the average consumer? Should you be worried about your electric car spying on you? Well, it's complicated. The truth is, all modern cars collect a lot of data. It's how they improve safety features, navigation systems, and overall performance. However, the amount and type of data collected by Chinese electric vehicles, coupled with the lack of transparency and potential security vulnerabilities, is a cause for concern. It's important for consumers to be aware of these risks and to demand greater transparency from car manufacturers, regardless of their origin. The electric vehicle revolution is here and it's not going away anytime soon. But as we embrace this new era of transportation, we must also be mindful of the potential risks. Data privacy and cybersecurity are no longer just abstract concepts, they're real-world issues with tangible consequences. 
The story of Project Lion Cage is a wake-up call, a reminder that we can't afford to blindly trust technology, especially when it comes to our personal data. It's time for a serious conversation about data ethics, transparency, and accountability in the automotive industry. The road ahead for electric vehicles is paved with